Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How do I get to characters? Characters. Anna Stringer. This is uh, Tamara's mother. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tamara only deepened Geralt's sad understanding of her mother's situation. The woman... Oh, the women decided to flee together because they had had enough of the Baron's drunken rages and beatings. Anna hated her husband so much that she was ready to do anything in order to be free of the man and the child he had put inside her. Graydon, this is that guy we just met. I did not like him at all. Graydon was one of the witch hunters in King Radovid's service. Unlike a great many of his comrades, he came across as a level-headed fellow. Really? One free of prejudice, at least in his dealings with witchers. Well, that's a good point, I guess. Apparently he hadn't heard about um, the uh, witch hunters we had killed just fairly recently on Fike Isle. And then... Um, I thought that something else was updated in here, but I'm not seeing it. Nothing new about Tamara. Tamara had indeed made it to Oxenfurt, safe and sound, and would not even consider returning to her father. Determined to save her mother from the clutches of the creatures that had imprisoned her in the bog, Tamara had joined the ranks of the witch hunters, hoping their support would allow her to survive a trek into Crookback Bog. Oh, I don't like that she's mixed up with them, man. I don't like it at all. I don't like it. Okay, um, Vesserad. This was the guy, uh, on the tower. So we already read all of this. Yet the truth turned out, as it, as is its wont, to be much simpler. Vesserad was murdered by his traitorous, traitorous former subjects, who were driven by greed, jealousy, and the base jackassery that is all too widespread among the human race. Ain't that the truth? Nibbles. Can we talk to Nibbles? Can we pet Nibbles? Why does Nibbles show up as, um... Why does Nibbles have a name? My Witcher senses don't show anything with Nibbles. Let's go ahead and help ourselves to their crap. Take a vial. Dried fruit and apple, that's good. Ooh, here's a note. Let's read it. Mysterious letter. I want to read this mysterious letter. Mysterious letter. All is prepared. We await only your arrival. When I told the commander of your commitment and zeal, he agreed to welcome you into our ranks at once. At first, you will be put through the preliminary training, but you already know how to ride and wield a blade, and thus have already mastered the essentials. The rest will not take much time. As soon as you don our colors, we will set out in search of your mother, and we will find her, I promise even if we have to comb every inch of Velen. Oh, wow, so this is apparently a note to uh, Tamara. Hmm, so she's gonna put, be put through training, but she already knows how to ride and wield a blade. Huh. I don't think that's that mysterious of a letter. Pretty self-explanatory, I think. What else is in here? Besides nibbles. A smoking pipe. Well, I might as well take that and sell that to somebody, make a few coin. Let's see. Do it yourself! I already read that. Okay, these chairs are kind of hard to navigate. Lands of the North, Velen. I don't think I've read that one. Lands of the North, Velen. The land of Velen, located in western Temeria with its capital in Gors Velen, is one of the poorest provinces in the kingdom. Its territory encompasses the Isle of Thened, home to the famous Magic Academy, which, along with Gors Velen, constitutes the commercial and developmental mainspring of the entire province. Velen is a stop on the Novigrad trade route running through Sidaris, Bergen, Brugge, Sintra, and other such southerly realms. Veleners subside primar primarily on agriculture, crafting, and animal husbandry. The province is practically deprived of all natural resources. It contains a great deal of forests, wetlands, and cultivated woods, though the greatest part of its, co 
greatest part of it is covered in swamps and bogs. Okay, well, that's good to know a little bit about Velen. This place we've been traveling through all this time. Finally, another smoking pipe. Okay, Nibbles. Yeah. Geralt was uh, very interested in Nibbles, but I guess we're just going to leave Nibbles behind here. Let's see, uh, what's up here? What the hell is this thing? Why is it moving so much? Is it windy up here? Han fiber. Han fiber. Oh, coming in. Who's this guy? This is the dude we talked to right when we got here. Oh, no, he's just a peasant who happens to look like the guy that was downstairs? I don't know. This is a nice place. Wow. Uh, Pearls of the North, we already read that. Dried fruit and a candelabrum. A butter knife. Why am I picking all this up? I'm only going to get a couple of coin from it. This is all a bunch of crap. Why am I doing this? Somebody stop me. Water. Now, see, that's why I look, because water is definitely something we could use. Toussaint, a duchy out of tales, a fantasy and wonder. We already read that. That is really neat. You could look out that window. How cool is that? Well, I think it's cool. This guy doesn't seem to care that we're just looting away. Oh, I didn't want to extinguish it. I wanted to loot linen. And... Oh. Loot. A sword for witches. I already read that. See, does this guy care if we're looting right in front of him? Another do-it-yourself book. A ladle. Another ladle. Some water. Smoking pipe and raspberry juice. A ladle. Man, that was a lot of crap on that. Huh, can't loot that, I guess. Let's go loot this right in front of him. Do it yourself. Wow. Lots of do it yourself books. Hmm, can I get to this thing? Oops. No. Cow's milk. Well, that might be useful. Okay, well, I think we've pretty much cleared this place out. Just help ourselves to whatever. All right, Nibbles. I'll see you later, bud. Let's do this door. This just goes out. Okay. It's locked. That's fine. That's fine. Let me out of here. Man, those chairs are hard to get around, I tell you. Master Witcher? Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. We could go back to uh, the Baron uh, to tell him about Tamara. As far as investigating all remaining leads in Velen and find the Baron's wife, I'm not real sure what to do there. Does that show up on our map at all? It doesn't look like it. This is just telling us to go back here. I'm not really sure what other leads we have other than something maybe in Crookback Bog. Well, we might as well rush back to um, the Baron. And, uh, yeah. What's going on here? Has this been updated? No. This has not been updated. So let's go back. Talk to the Baron about tomorrow, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna run over here. Excuse what me, sir. That? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna run over here and sell this merchant a lot of this crap that we just picked up. Not you. You. What can I do with you for? Let me. Okay, so we've got a bunch of crapola we just picked up. We don't need three ladles. We don't need a candle or a butter knife or a candelabrum or a smoking pipe or a vial or this silver mug. So we got some coin from him. That's pretty cool, right? And eventually, we're going to find a place to sell these books. It will happen. Oh, farewell. So long. Or so long. Either one works. So, we are going to run to the Western Gate. I wonder if this armor is any better than um, the other one. 
see if this guy could craft something for us. See if I could find my way up to him. Uh huh. Starting with you. What's up, armor? Greetings again. So, you got a job for me? An interesting one. I don't know. Oh, this guy, we haven't played him, Gwent, either. Let's see if he could craft something for us. Good luck. I actually do have a special order for you. Oh, that's fantastic. Mark my words, you'll be satisfied. So, we do have a lot of stuff. We can make some boots. Hunter's boots. These are pretty good. These assassin boots are better than the ones that I'm currently wearing. But they don't have... They're way... That's weird. Minus 58% in armor piercing. We could make some chest armor here. That's level 16. Level 8. See... How do I compare this to what I'm currently wearing? Maybe this is this maybe this is what I'm wearing. I bet you this is what I'm wearing. I bet yeah, that's what that is what I'm wearing. Cuz this one here you could see a minus 35, minus 25 and a minus 29. So out of all these that's the best I could do it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. So, unless he has a diagram for something cool, he does have diagrams. He's got a shirt and a, another gambeson, a double, or maybe doublet, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, parchment, hunter's gauntlets, he's got some diagrams for some glyphs, axeman's trousers. I really wish there was an easier way to compare this to what I'm currently wearing. This looks pretty cool. Item info. They still have not fixed that. You're in luck. I actually do have. Oh, that's fantastic. All right. I went to the wrong thing anyway. Um, I wanted to look at this thing. So I gotta turn on my Xbox 360 controller and hit left trigger for item info. This is level 15, so I can't do anything with that yet anyway. Uh, Sidal's, Sh Shidal's armor? This requires level 24. Calvary trousers, level six. Trousers, boots, boots. And an Ekaton, level 13. Brigandine, 13. Armor. Okay, well, so unfortunately, we can't um, have him do any of that for us. Uh, yes, we're going to play him a game of Gwent, otherwise I'm going to forget. Um, so if you're not interested, click here to skip. And if that link doesn't work for you, you can just go ahead and skip to the next episode, because this Gwent game lasts till the end of this episode. I like Gwent. Gwent's fun. Play cards. I didn't think I'd like it, but Gwent's it's actually quite bad. fun. I find myself wanting to play it when I'm not playing this game. <laughs> uh, let's see, we want to stick with our Northern Realms deck. We haven't got any new cards for it, so we'll just stick with our current set of cards. Um, oh, here's what's interesting. I don't have my clear weather card in here. Let's put that in there. Yeah, that might be good to have. Did I put it in here? Where is it? There it is. Okay. Let's start the game. Oh, he's doing to do the Scoia'tael. Uh, okay, so I got Biting Frost, Torrential Rain, Commander's Horn. I might, yeah, maybe we'll keep these, maybe? I don't know, I don't know if I need this many, because he'll do Fog. I've got Frost and Rain, that'll cover everything, but, um... Boy, that's a lot of special cards I have in my deck there. Um, let's see, can I look at, let's see, I've got only one of these, well, maybe they don't, hold on. Okay, so I've only got one of these, I have a whole bunch of frontline guys, so I'm not going to be play, probably not going to be playing the Biting Frost card, so I'm going to go ahead and, um, redraw this. Oh, now I have two of these. Hmm. 
don't know if I need two of these. <laughs> I didn't notice that before. Commander Sworn, plus one to morale, minus three to hearing. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I don't know, it might be worth having two of these. Let's, let's, um... Oh, that's an awful lot of special cards. Gosh. Um. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Even the rain in this land smells like piss. I'm kind of leaning towards not carrying two of these. A little worried though, if I redraw, I might end up with a card I just discarded anyway. I'm gonna do it. Okay. All right. I got him. Well, that's not very helpful. Oh well. I may have. Well, I'm not too. Oh, what's this? What the hell? What's this thing? What the hell's that? Oh man, I don't have my decoy card. This is a cool card. Look at this. It's a spy card, but it doesn't give me any points. That is the like the ultimate spy card. That is awesome. Damn. That hurts. That hurts a lot. It doesn't give me any points. It gives him two more cards. Boy, I really wish I had my uh, decoy card in here. Crap. Mm -mm -mm. That hurts. <clears throat> well, I guess we'll um, start with our frontline guys. What does this guy do? Oh, this is a spy card, but it gives him five points. I'll save that. I'll save that. That'll, that'll, I'll use that in desperation. Oh my. He's going to put him in that line. I don't like how this has started off at all. I don't have a clear weather card, so I'm really worried that he's going to play something to, neg to negate that. And he just did. There it is. Damn. There's not a damn thing I could do about it. That hurts a lot. Ugh. I mean, he's only got five points. But man, he negated the hell out of that. That sucks. Um, if I played Fog, it would negate that. Well, I'm gonna have to play this. Hope that he doesn't negate it. What's this thing? Scorch? What the hell's that? I've never seen that card before. Man, he's got some neat cards. What does this do? Discard after playing kills the strongest cards on the battlefield. Oh my gosh. I have never heard of that card. Whoa. Well, I've heard of it. I've heard mention of it. I've never seen anybody play it before. Uh, this is not looking good. This guy is going to kick my ass. I don't think there's any question about it. Damn. Um, this will... Let me choose a card for my discard pile. Let me choose that is what it'll do. And that's the only card in my discard pile, so it comes right back out. Okay. Let's see if that was a mistake or not. Well, son of a bitch, this guy has everything. Now he negated those. He's got more cards than me. He's negated all my good stuff. Son of a gun. I can negate that. Let's see how he likes that, bastard. Problem is, hmm, that really leaves both of us with nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because then all of these... I wonder if that would maybe force him to play a, a Clear Skies card if he's got it. Eh, let's. I think I'm going to lose this anyway, so let's just try it and see what happens. Okay. So that's going to muster a bunch of other dudes. I'm still ahead of him. That's cool. That used a, now we're even card wise. That's this is good. This is good. Um, if I this is this would be a good time to play a spy card because it's only going to give you one point. <laughs> okay. So. So we're tied, but I have more cards than him. So we're going to play this game a little bit here. Um, I don't have any more special abilities cards. This would be a good time to play him. He's only worth two anyway. So we'll go ahead and put him out here. Okay, so he's going to muster. Or not muster. What is this called? This is... Um, okay. 
Commander's Horn. Okay. So now we're tied, but again, I've got more cards than him. Yeah, if we could just keep doing this, we might. if I could get him to run out of cards and win this round, I'll get another card. And I think we'll be in good shape. So I'm going to go ahead and play this at my lowest point card. Or should I just go ahead and play this? Because this isn't, this isn't doing either one of us any good right now. There. Just waste that card, basically. He passes. We're tied. So I'm going to throw out this card to get my one point. And I'll win. So we'll win this round. Somehow we both ended up with the same number of cards, though. How did that happen? But I'm going to get another card since I win this round. Okay, this is good. Five to four. My turn. Uh, I have a mixture here. Um, let's just start here. I wonder what his leader ability is. A zero. Oh man, he just revived a card. Shit. And it was a spy card. It got him two cards, but it gave me five points. This is a crazy round, man. Let's see here. His special ability, draw an extra card at the beginning of the battle. Ah, that's how he ended up catching up with me card-wise. Now he's actually ahead of me in cards. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. We're kicking his ass points-wise. Um... Hmm. Trying to decide what to do here. He's got more cards than me. I feel like I need to win this round. The problem is... I'm almost out of cards. And he's going to get another card anyway. Hmm. I'm beating him 10 to nothing. Well, I guess we'll just continue on. Oh, shit. He gets another card. Oh, this is not good. He's getting all these cards. Hmm. This hurts. I'm still beating him, but damn. He's got four cards left. I've only got three. I have to win this round. I have to. Oh, man. Okay. That was a lot of points, but let's go ahead and play this. And yeah, we're going to play all our cards and hope to beat him this round. Shit, he's got some high value cards. Well, we've got this card left. We're going to go ahead and play it in this row. So he has two cards left. Hopefully he won't have enough points to beat me. Clear weather. Okay, that's a wasted card. And... What's his last card? Decoy. That's not going to help him at all. Heh. <laughs> what did he draw? Yes, I won! Ha 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 ha! I did not think I was going to beat him. That was awesome. That was, some, that was some damn good playing right there, I think. That was cool.